If you want to avoid criticism, then say nothing, do nothing, be nothing. We're in Falkland. We're about to get run over as well, actually, in Falkland. If you find this video, we are indeed dead. It was uh, that guy there. <laughs> <laughs> Remember his face. So Falkland's a pretty historic place. Um, there's Falkland the, Palace. Falkland Palace, which is back that way. Um, there's a few little old houses here. I'm pretty sure some have got their dates on. Yeah. Try and find for you. There's Craig's know. house. That's what it is. That's Craig's house. They're <laughs> 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 uh, quite old buildings, aren't they? The yeah. stonework and everything. Bruce buildings. That's because that man Bruce has got a statue down there as well. That's right. I was just thinking of Bruce out of uh, Finding Nemo. Is it Finding Nemo? Yeah, yeah. Fisher Bruce. Fens, not Foods. My name's Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Falkland, if you're ever in Scotland, come visit Falkland because it's Falkland awesome. <laughs> For Falkland's like sake. That. There you go. 1874. I don't know if that was in focus or not. That was a good year. <laughs> so that was bought in 1874, that's a long time ago. I'll tell you a funny story. Steam, spin the camera around, just this section here. Put it back in. A couple of years ago, um, my cousin came over from Canada uh, with her friend, and we were, I thought ah, it was it was later on in the day. I think it was about eight o'clock at night actually. And they were like, they were because I think they had jet lag. They were wide awake and full of beans. So I said, oh, I'll, I'll take you up Falkland Hill. So it was getting dark when we walked up there. By the time we we're at the top from where we live, because we walked all the way from the house in Canada. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. When we got to the top of the hill, it was like pitch dark. Top of the hill, blah blah blah, and we kind of, we decided to take a shortcut coming back down. My shortcut, I was, I was a alleged pathfinder. And because it was so foggy and everything else, walking down, and we're walking for about another hour, and in my head I thought, we're going to be near Leslie soon, we're bound to be, which is the town near, um, right next to where I am, on the other side of the hill. And anyway, I, hit, I came down this road and I saw that sign that we just looked at, and I was like, Cricket club? <laughs> I was like, there's no cricket club like that in Leslie. And then when I realised I was on the other side of the hill, I was like, oh man, I've got another two hour walk. <laughs> and the two girls' legs were tired. I mean, and we were like, oh, and it was, it was actually raining like this. And I think we got we got in about half four in the morning. And you were just grumpy and you were like, Phew. I'm not surprised, that sucks. And the thing is, before we went, I was like, yeah, I know those hills like the back of my hand. <laughs> Clearly, I don't. <laughs> That's the end of that story. That's the end of that story. We're going to get run over again, so we're going to switch this off and we will speak to you again at our location. So, uh, Falkland has got its famous Falkland Hill. There we are. That's Falkland Hill. So, um, um, Falkland Hill used to be a volcano. It's an extinct volcano. And or is it dormant or is it extinct? Extinct. Is it yeah. Sure? It's certainly not going to blow up anytime soon. I watched that movie, Dante's Peak. <laughs> Dante's Peak. Yeah, Dante's right. Peak. And, Dante's uh, that was meant to be, uh, it's not going to blow up. Yeah. If Pierce Brosnan turns up, we're in trouble. Well, yeah. And Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor, that's Sarah right. Sarah Connor. So yeah, Falkland Hill is an extinct volcano. Um, I think, I don't know if it's thousands of years ago or millions of years ago, but a lot of years ago, um, it would be Play. blowing the shit out of this place. A couple of million years KC, that's before the Kelly coaches. <laughs> 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 so our timeline, right now we're living in uh, uh, one and a half KC. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rab, you know what they say? What do they say? What do they say, Stephen? It's time for another yeah. mindset. Monday. This episode is all about letting your voice be heard. Yeah, so um, it's easy for us to say because we've got a YouTube channel, but we're not talking about YouTube. We're talking about life in general. Let your voice be heard. Stand up for what you believe. Whatever your beliefs are, whether you want to shout them or not, that's entirely up to you. But 
don't let someone else change your belief or imprint their beliefs on yours unless i mean sometimes if you're open to discussion and you're open to whatever that's that's different because sometimes you're you're wanting another one's opinion but sometimes people force their opinion on you yeah. now in this case um there are certain religions that push that kind of angle now i'm a big believer in that you believe whatever you believe in or what you've been brought up to believe um do your research go make up your own mind don't allow someone to come knocking at your door to tell you what's what yeah you know there's plenty of um documents out there there's plenty of books to read research that's been been going around there's world experts i mean there's there's people who um, would claim to be world experts in whether it be God, um, Jehovah, Allah, uh, Muhammad, uh, and, and countless others. There's also world experts on non-religion or um, atheism. What's all the other terms for it, crikey? Um, agnostic. Agnostic, yep. There's um, also Scientology. Scientology, yeah. Sorry, so so th th there's world um, experts on everything. So learn from these people. Do your research. Read as many books as you can. So now, we're talking about religion here, but we're really talking about everything in life. Mm -hmm. um, whether it be, you know, uh, maybe you do want to start a YouTube channel, for instance. Maybe you want to change a job. Maybe you want to have children. Maybe you don't want to have children. You know, there's, there's lots of different things out there that... You will have your viewpoints on. Do not let other people persuade you or dissuade you otherwise. Now, it all depends on which uh, direction the conversation is going in. So don't get me wrong. You could be in a discussion, and you'll know it's a discussion because the person will start their statement by saying, well, I believe, or in my opinion, or something like that. And that's somebody that's very open to their own opinion and isn't trying to force anything on you. But the ones that try and force on you is the ones that try and make it seem like it's fact or try to lecture you that you should or shouldn't be doing something for this reason. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't be drinking that because it's bad for you. You shouldn't be doing this because it's like, well... There's a countless ways for everything in life. Um, there's never, well, there is sometimes a right way and a wrong way, but ultimately there's many ways to skin a cat. And we're not saying that you should go and skin a cat. Um, I think what we're also getting at here is, or the counter argument for this is, you've also got to keep an open mind. Okay, so if you are one of those people who are so adamant about the way something should be and you force your opinion on other people, they keep an open mind. So although we're saying, you know, stick to your guns, don't let, don't let anyone persuade you otherwise, also keep an open mind, but depends on how somebody's coming across. Somebody's being very adamant and um, maybe a little bit rude in the way that you should be doing something, my personal opinion, you could shout, tell them to F off. Yeah. But at the same time, if, if you've got a discussion going about something that you maybe think otherwise, then get into the conversation. Ask questions. Keep an open mind about things because you might have it wrong. And with this next statement I'm going to say, it means you can always find common ground. Even if it is, let's agree to disagree. <laughs> you know, yeah. if you're getting nowhere and that person's forcing it on you, but you're standing your ground, you can just come out and just say, you know what, let's just agree to disagree. And if that person can't agree to disagree, then they can go and... Because <laughs> then they're just being argumentative. Because if you can agree to disagree, which I think is a fantastic statement, it's, it's a way of saying, right, okay, you've got your opinion, I've got mine, and we're not going to change it. Discussion done, let's move on to something yeah. else. And then once you've made up your own mind, whatever that opinion is, you know, let your voice be heard. And that doesn't mean go shouting. What I mean is that inside your head, you've got your opinion. And when someone's then enforcing or having a chat with you and throwing it on you again, stand your ground. Just say, no, no. This is what I believe and this is what I'm sticking to. And it's, it tends to be more when you've got a new idea or you want to do something like, I guess the people around our age um, maybe either decide to settle down or go traveling. Now, some people might have already set up their business doing well and they're going to give it all up and go traveling. The people around them will be like, oh, I wouldn't do that if I was you. You've got a good business. Why give up to go traveling? But ultimately, that's maybe because perhaps they didn't do these kind of wild and spontaneous stuff and it's a little bit of jealousy in there. Yep. Now the person that wants to go travel and just say, no, let my voice be heard. I'm going traveling, that's yep. what I want to go and do. You often find also that people that are trying to force their opinions on you have no idea about your personal circumstances. So if you say for instance, it was that you know, you've got to sell a business or, or indeed a career and you want to go traveling and people say, no, no, you're crazy. Shouldn't be doing this, shouldn't be doing that. And you know, stick to what you're doing because you've got something really good going on there. 
they have no idea whether you're happy, sad, if you're enjoying it. You might be absolutely mis miserable in your job and actually the only thing that's driving you is the thought of going travelling. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Whether it be, you know, your job, your health and fitness, obviously this is the angle we're coming at mainly, yeah. your health and fitness. So many people say, oh no, no, you shouldn't be having that much protein, for instance. Yeah. It's something we hear or all the time. You're doing too much exercise. Oh yeah, I, th I, think, I think you're addicted to exercise because oh. you exercise five days a week. Yeah. Like, how much TV do you watch? Do you yeah. watch TV every day? I think you're addicted to the TV, but nobody ever questions <laughs> that, do they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be eating too much of this stuff and you should cut loose a bit more and blah, 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 blah. And yeah, yeah. Which is, which is really funny, bearing bear in mind, people see, before we started the Kilty Coaches, people would see the things that we normally taught. You know, they would see us eating well, they would see us going to the gym regularly, training, um, and obviously you, you get a physique then that shows that, um, and, and, and the happiness that goes with it. So when people see, oh, he's training and he's eating, you know, good food, lots of vegetables, lots of good protein, this, that, and the other, and people then criticise you for being, oh, you're, you're way too strict. They have no idea that we had, we had a few beers on Saturday night, we, we had a whiskey or two. Yeah, and actually two weeks ago we had a massive pizza between the two of us. You know, they, they don't see these little things, but they see what they want to see in the form and opinion. Whether it be on health and fitness, your lifestyle, your personal life, um, your job, your religion, whatever it might be, people see you from the outside and have no idea who you are, what you like and what your beliefs are. So ultimately, and anything you want to do, whether you want to job change or that tends to be it's either a job change or a new hobby that might be either dangerous, risky or something. That's another one. That yeah. People are very opinionated about you shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that. Um, whatever it is you're deciding to do, let your voice be heard. Stick to your gun. Stick to the damn plan. <laughs> you know, and don't let anyone else. So you you you'll know it because you're you're back. You've got instinct. You have your backup right away. Yeah. They'll come to you, and you'll kind of. If you don't let your voice be heard, you'll go away from that conversation kind of feeling a bit of shit. Yeah. You'll be like, oh, I, I didn't enjoy speaking to them about it. I kind of feel like I've been lectured. Kind of like we're lecturing you to stick to the damn plan. But you do, you, you, when you come away from it, you're like, because we've had it so many times, haven't we? Yep. There's a, and there's a quote, in fact, we could probably finish on this quote, right? Yeah. There's a quote, and I actually can't remember who said it. It was really, really bad. <laughs> but the quote is something like this. If you want to avoid criticism, then say nothing, do nothing, be nothing. That's an awesome way to end it. You just cut it there, right? Cool.